Allied Fifth Army sweeps forward on the roads to Rome. In swift, staggering blows from both the casino and beachhead sectors, General Mark Clark's forces within less than four weeks have closed into the very outskirts of the Eternal City. Fifth Army battle equipment, assembled in great quantities for this climatic thrust, moves up fast. In the opposite direction go German prisoners to Allied detention camps. Part of the 21,000 taken captive in 25 days. The total Nazi casualties in this drive alone have been greater than those of the Allies during the entire Italian campaign. American tanks, after outflanking enemy strong points in the Alban Hills, approach the entrances to Rome. Here, German rear guards made a final stand. Just before the Nazis fell rapidly back, General Clark conferred with his staff and ordered an attack. Leaving this area, General Clark narrowly escaped enemy fire. German guns open up immediately. Shells fall on tanks and men in the road. Infantry presses in toward Rome from the city suburbs. The first groups of civilians welcome the Americans. In the sharp fight preceding the German withdrawal, in order to save their outmaneuvered army, some American armored units are destroyed. Italian civilian fighters in action behind Nazi lines for months have seized German prisoners. They turn them over to regular Fifth Army forces. More citizens turn out to greet the Yanks, as now, in formal order, they pour through the gates into the ancient city. to fall to Allied armies of liberation is now officially occupied. The Roman populace begins to gather in a joyful reception 